say what, say what, the family Chantel is back, oh my god, did you see this episode, it has been three months since they left the Philippines, and the pandemic is still going on, and the family haven't really talked to each other like that, everybody is just getting settled in, and it seems like everything is going good for the Chantel family, and... It's still more drama. Let's get into this review of the Chantel family. When it comes to Chantel and Pedro, everything is on the up and up. Everything is working well for them finally. Pedro was not able to get his license during the pandemic, but when since everything has opened up, Pedro is driving now, baby. He's driving that nice whip at the end of the day. And he has a name for it, and it is called Betsy. I don't know why he chose that name for his car, but that's the name of his ride. Betsy, and you know Chantel is jealous. She like, why did you not name it Pinky Winky? I like, girl, come on now. Let him name his car the way he want to name his car. It don't have to be named after you. Girl, let's get it together. And we come to find out Chantel actually graduated finally. She did it. My girl is graduating as a nurse and she is doing it big. She is going to be an entry level nurse. As a pediatric nurse, I think that is great and phenomenal. Okay, now in Atlanta, and her next game plan is to be a nurse at a neural level. All right, Pedro is old school, but he washing his car. All right, old school way with a bucket, a rag, and a hose. Okay, there is nothing wrong with that. And I actually like Pedro's car, so. Pedro was making fun of how Chantel took a long time to finish college. At the end of the day, she was like, how long it took you to get your driving test? <laughs> Pedro is funny. He like, as far as you know, though. <laughs> Yo, I can't with him. Pedro is hilarious. And Pedro is still working at the warehouse. And he actually liked what he does. He says he made 22 an hour. I don't know what Pedro thinks a nurse is supposed to make at an entry level. But his idea of what a nurse is supposed to make is very high. He thinks they're supposed to make 75000 95000 I said that is great. Maybe they do make that. But not at entry level. Okay. And... Chantel is trying to explain to him, baby, I'm new to this. You do not come out of school making that type of money at the entry level is like $45,000. I still think that's good from starting from nowhere to becoming something. All right, I think $45,000 at entry level is amazing. Um, if you divide that, how, many, how much is that an hour? I have no idea. Okay, we got to figure that out. Pedro actually tells Chantel he is proud of her. It doesn't matter. He's proud of her. She finished. And Pedro thinks he's going to have an easy way out, all right? He thinks because she graduated, she's supposed to be making a lot of money at the end of the day. And he's supposed to take it easy. She like, no, honey. You is supposed to find a career and not work at a warehouse. And we supposed to make six figures together. I'm with that. I'm with, I'm with building with your spouse. Okay? I'm with. And I said, is it me or is winter looking better this season? I don't know if it's the makeup she has on, but she's looking very healthy and her skin is looking fabulous. Okay? I love how she looked in the interview. So she needs to keep up whatever she's doing. Keep it up, sister. You're doing amazing. And... Her siblings are local, okay? They local, cause they is clowning Chantel. Yo, did you hear what River said about her? Yo, he is crazy, alright? 
He like, she is the only family member that took 12 years to finish <laughs> college. I cannot. I cannot with River. They thought that was so hilarious. Okay, the way he said it, it was funny. All right? But the main thing is she accomplished something. Doesn't matter how long you take and the mother says it in the thing. It doesn't, long, it doesn't matter how long it takes you to finish. Long as you finish, that, that's the main thing. What does it matter? And Chantel gives an explanation why it took her so long to finish um, college because she was working full time and then she was messing with Pedro with the K-1 visa going back and forth traveling and she like that took most of her time at the end of the day when it comes to school put your education first date you can come later unless they live in the same state as you you can date and still go to school I'm gonna finish my education first and then worry about traveling to other people later Especially if they're not paying for it. <laughs> I'm not paying out my pocket <laughs> to go see someone. Now, Karen goes to the house and she is ringing the door and calling Royal's name and his wife's name. And nobody is answering. Nobody is coming to the door. She wants the mic off so she can have a private conversation with her son. At the end of the day, okay, that is is the mother and that is her son she have every right to go and see about her son well-being and when she gets there yo you can hear on the mic when they trying to take it off he like yo do not come do not call me do not call me you can hear that on the mic when they taking it off she actually has a private conversation without the mic and the son wants to heal with his wife privately without interference. He wants time to heal from his siblings, okay? So most likely they're not going to be on scene through this episode a lot. They're still dealing with the pandemic and they still need time to heal from the embarrassment from the Philippines. Because his wife is embarrassed on what happened. Okay, I don't blame them. So Carrie understands and plans to respect her son's wishes. She don't like how she being treated, but she plans to respect their wishes and have them have time to heal over the chaos that happened in the Philippines. All right. We are in the Dominican Republic with Lydia and Nicole. Chad, Lydia is not playing no games with her daughter. And at the end of the day, it comes to find out when Alejandro left Dominican Republic, Nicole had got a ticket to go to New York for one week and got stuck during the pandemic. And her mother was trying to explain. She told Nicole not to go because the countries are shutting down their borders. So Nicole got stuck in New York for three months. So she was with Alejandro with him three months. And Lydia, the mother, is explaining. She don't like Alejandro, okay? And she is hilarious explaining Alejandro <laughs> appearance. First of all, she's like, if you caught in my daughter, you don't come to meet the parent in ripped jeans and your hair like an iguana, okay? She like, his hair looking like an iguana. First of all, I'm not here to talk about nobody appearance. How you dress and what is your style is best for you at the end of the day. It's more about Alejandro character. His character is not good, okay? For you to be a married man and still date it like you're single. First of all, that's a problem for me, okay? We not, that's not what we're doing, okay? That's not what we're doing here. And the show is messy because they show a clip of the mother talking about how he is a dishwasher and he no good for her. I think that was terrible what they did. I like, why y'all showing that clip that lady talking about he a dishwasher? <laughs> Let me tell you, I don't care what your profession is. As long as it's legal and you can bring in money, what does it, what does it matter what they do for a living? As long as it's legal, they can pay taxes. What is the problem? I don't understand. <laughs> and... Nicole is trying to express to her mom like she is really having problems. 
And the mother is trying to understand how you have a problem. Your boyfriend, get rid of him. At the end of the day, when she, when Nicole was living with her boyfriend for three months, she had developed some things about him. He is not as what he portrayed himself is. He is controlling, okay, a manipulative, and, and he don't know how to handle stress. She explains that when she was with him, they was arguing about simple things as food during the pandemic. And I said, that says a lot. If you arguing about food, child, that says a lot. And to me, Alejandro come off as controlling. And I don't like that. I don't like that. You have to allow people to be their own person at the end of the day. You can't control what people do. You could try to influence people to live a good life. But if they don't, if that's not what they choose for their life, there's nothing you can really do about it. But keep it in God's hands at the end of the day. Karen and Chantal actually goes to the decorating store because she cannot have a normal graduation and she having a car parade. So they planning to decorate the car, get in the car, and have a drive through parade for graduation. I said, oh my God, I cannot imagine. This is how people was graduating during the pandemic. Oh my God. But the main thing is you succeed during the difficult times. That's the only thing that matters. You got your degree, you got your diploma. That's all that matters. Winter will be coming to the graduation party. But Chantel is more concerned that if she will be bringing Jocka during the pandemic, Winter went back to job. At the end of the day, Winter is a grown woman. She has her own choice. If she want to go back to the men and work it out, that's fine. Long as they working it out on a positive level, and he is not reserting back to his old ways, then that would be an issue. But I understand where Chantel is coming from. When you feel like your family member could do better in choosing a spouse, you just want to see them do better. But there's nothing you can do if they keep going back to the same person. So they got to see for themselves. Over time, they going to see if that person is for them or not. They're going to recognize that because Nicole did. And I think Nicole don't want to tell her mother that she is right. When she went to go live with Alejandro, she seen some things that she did not like about him. And it also makes Nicole think, do she really want to marry Alejandro? I said, God is an on-time God. Because he will show you the way if you going down the wrong way. So her getting stuck with Alejandro was really a blessing in disguise because it's showing her, do you really want to go down this road with this dude? Is he really your future or can you do better? Okay. And it is the day of the graduation. And they actually decorate the car. And the mother actually put the mask on the car. So to let you know it's a pandemic going on. Alright. The main thing is they did it as a family. And they had fun. And they spent quality time together. That's all that matters. Okay. And everybody looked at nice. They did an amazing job. Karen. Karen is the mother of the family, and she has this saying, leave no man behind. All is one, and she wants Chantel to be on board with that, but I don't think Chantel really agree with that. I don't agree with that either. I think that's a military saying, and I think that's nuts. The military say leave no man behind, but they always leave a man behind, and they're the ones who be destroying their own people. Child, we're not going to get into that. But that's how I feel. Stop quoting military quote. And the military don't even believe in what the hell they be saying. So what we talking about here? I don't know. I do believe in 
a family being whole with one another, okay? And trying to re to reconcile and amend their trauma so they can be on better terms. That's what I agree with. But leave no man behind. I said that's a military code and they don't even believe in what the hell they be saying. First of all, they the one be plotting against their people. They the one be leaving their man behind and they be throwing people in the goddamn water. So what we talking about? Okay. Chantelle is hilarious, okay? Because she's joking that she's going to be a pinky winky nurse. <laughs> I thought it was cute and it was kind of role playing at the end of the day. But I think Chantelle has a bad idea what a nurse really is. Maybe she might like the idea of saying she's a nurse. But the last time I checked, being a nurse is not a glamorous job. Okay, even though it might pay well, and I think Chantel has this idea that a nurse is glamorous. Some nurses have better than others, okay? Some nurses just do paperwork, but some nurses actually do physical labor. You have to lift patients, change dirty diapers, and sometimes the mess gets on you, okay? It's really not a glamorous job. And I think Chantel try to make it seem like it's this glamorous thing. Okay? Whether you work in what well, adults or children, it's really not a glamorous life. I feel like you should love what you do if you're going to be in this field. And shout out to all nurses who are doing an amazing job and changing lives in this world. You are recognized. And I do salute you. For all the hard work that you do. Because I know being a nurse is not easy. And y'all probably don't get enough credit for what y'all do. Dealing with sickness. You're dealing with people out of different people attitudes. You're dealing with people families. Okay. And a nurse job is to make a patient as comfortable as they can be during the difficult times that they are going through. You're supposed to make comfort unto a patient. It's not like, oh, it's glamorous. What? What? I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to be smelling all kind of smells that you don't want to smell, too. Oh, my God. Wait. And then she tells him that she wants plastic surgery, and he is against it. So, Nicole picks up her BFF, all right? And they is going to the doctor, the plastic surgery doctor, okay? Because Nicole want boobies! She want boobies, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and her friend thinks she deserves it because she doesn't have anything. And her friend is in agreement. Let me tell you, I am not a governor, okay? I am not here to govern nobody. I ain't here to tell nobody what to do with their own body and with their own life. But at the end of the day... Who thinks her getting boobies is going to make her have confidence, okay? And me be more assured of herself. If plastic surgery is supposed to give you self-esteem, then why is people erasing their whole identity with plastic surgery? It's like they are shape-shifting into a whole new person. They get boobs done, then they get their face done, and then they get in their cheeks done, and then they get in their belly done, and then they and they get in their butt done. If it gives you so much confidence, why you just don't get one thing done and leave it as that? But they keep going back and going back, shape shifted to a whole new identity. So does plastic surgery really give you self-esteem or does it really lower your self-esteem at the end of the day? I mean, you can get plastic surgery all you want. I don't care. It's your body. You do what the hell you want. To me, plastic surgery is like a car, okay? You got to maintain it and, eat and keep up the maintenance, which it costs money, okay? They don't tell you this. Your boobs begin to sag and you begin to leak. You can get a hole in your boob and your water is leaking all over the place. It's like a car 
leaking oil, okay, all over the goddamn ground. You gotta get maintenance and maintain this and all this. But that's not my problem, that's your problem. I said, first of all, the doctor is a liar. I said the doctor is a liar completely. He said the procedure is not gonna hurt. <laughs> Who ever had got breast implants and say it never hurt it? What? I said that's a lie in itself at the end of the day. And I said Nicole's so young, she was so excited. I like she not even asking major questions. Like what is the success rate? What 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 how many people he ever worked on? How many people died on the table? I will never forget my wife when Carrie actually went to do plastic surgery and nearly died on the table on national T V chat. That was a hot mess. This lady was bleeding out and suddenly people checking her these people was throwing blankets on her because they was she was saying she was cold she was cold and the whole time her staples busted open it is the day of the graduation and they in the car and they go celebrate she did what she had to do and it was a beautiful day it's the day of the graduation party everything looked at beautiful they did an amazing job decorated at her parents house okay and they was asking is winter coming and winter actually shows up honey okay with Ja, and Ja feel like he don't owe winter family no explanation but he only needs to prove to winter to move forward i kind of agree do he really owe the family an explanation if, if he trying to deal with winter and trying to show, he trying to put his best foot forward. Um, I guess, I don't know. But you ask the wrong person <laughs> at the end of the day. So when Winter and John gets it, it was an awkward, long silence. And John was the bigger man to say, Hey, whoever Winter loves, I love too. <laughs> First of all, it's her family. But he did say congratulations to, to Chantel though. <laughs> and let me tell you, River was not playing no game. He got right into this. He's like, let's address a big elephant in the room. Okay? And then here comes Chantel chiming in about the big elephant. What Jog did about hiding the secret of his child. And it ended right there. But the mother Karen is hilarious because Pedro is comfortable with his job at the warehouse. And he like, they like, there's a difference between a career and a job. And Pedro is comfortable where he at. And Pedro is saying that Chantel family is very judgmental. First of all, I think we're all judgmental. Whether you want to realize it or not, we all are. God says, judge unless you be judged. If you judge me, I think I have a right to judge you. And I say, Pedro family, Pedro needs to look in the mirror of his family because his mother is also judgmental towards Alejandro, okay? And the mother was saying something crazy. She like... Oh, a career and a job is two different things. You're going to have to work, B. Let me tell you something. I don't care what your job is. As long as it's legal and it can bring income. As long as you got the skills and the knowledge to do what you got to do and you can hustle legally to bring money in, I don't care which, what career or job is a job. Because some jobs can pay more than some careers. Long as you can hustle, get your money up legally, and we not being evicted out in the street, I don't care what the hell you do. I mean, you could be a carpenter, you could be a, a doctor, uh, you could be a stripper for all I care, bitch. Long as it's the legal money, honey, and you paying your taxes, what does it matter? <laughs> what does it matter? Are we eating? Do we have a roof over our head? So what does it matter if it's a career or a job? What? What? And it's not Pedro not working? They make it seem like he not doing nothing at the end of the day. But it's going to be drama, honey. Because the next episode, did you see what Nicole did? 
Child, she came through like a tornado <laughs> on <Or> Chanel. <laughs> she came through like a tornado on oh, Chantel family, honey. Chad, it's going to be a mess on the next episode. Don't forget to watch it, the family Chantel episode. Baby, it's going to be good.